sketchbook, pencil, Sharpie, colored pencils, glue stick, and scissors, and always creativity. And then what I want you to do is for the next page in your sketchbook or the front page if it's new, um, think about ref yourself, reflect on your journey, and think about the question, what makes you, you? What is your family background or what story can you tell? I want you to do a page in your sketchbook that embodies you. I want you to be creative and experimental. So remember all the different things I just showed you, you can incorporate text, color, lines, texture, collage, whatever to make it more expressive and more like you. Now I want you to begin writing, embellishing, drawing, and adding your own voice to your first page and then from here on out all your other pages. So here are some examples of a good um, interpretation of this assignment. So the one on the left that is um, random acrylic paint and it has stamps and then just a very simple line drawing so don't feel like you have to do a perfect self-portrait. Um, the one on the right has um, a pretty nice painting and it looks like they took different objects around their house and dipped them in paint and stepped, stamped them on the background and then they wrote the word self on the page. Here are some different examples of collages and then layering different stuff. If you can tell this is actually like a book page in the background that they glued in and then painted and drew on top of. Here's some different ones. And look at those eyes, like those eyes are pretty simple, but they're very creative. It's a really pretty colorful background. Um, here's a little bit more traditional drawings where um, it's just one material, a pen. So you can do a lot of creative, expressive things just with limited art supplies. Don't think you have to have everything from Hobby Lobby to make your work look good. This one incorporates scrapbooking stuff. So it looks like those are maybe letter stickers and either like punch out pieces of paper or um, stickers again. So, you know, you can incorporate those things into your sketchbook as well. Um, then these are some examples that are just watercolor or just gel pen. That's just pen. This one incorporates magazine cutouts. All right, so if you are, after all of those pictures, still feeling like you don't have any inspiration, then you are more than welcome to click on these links to find some inspiration. Um, but what I want to encourage you to do is go back and think about what makes you you, and then do a page in your sketchbook that is all about you and expresses your personality and you can incorporate any media that you have available. And most importantly, keep calm and do a good job in using your sketchbook this semester. Thank you so much for your time.